gold I'm walking in new shoes Down the righteous road There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, you used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the new Praise the Lord, friend. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn. And right off the top of the hat, I want to say a very happy new year. That's right. We find ourselves right in the beginning of a brand new year. And we are looking forward to it. I believe God is getting ready to do some great and mighty things in this new year. And I'm going to be a part of it. And I know that you're going to be a part of it. Now, one thing we need to think about as we're going into a new year is the different things that we need to do. And one of the things that God has put on my heart is that we need to put Jesus first place in this brand new year. And one way to put him first place is to be doers of the word and not hearers only. This is what the Apostle James said in James 1.22. He said, be doers of the word and not hearers only. And he, he goes on to say, if you're just a hearer only and not a doer, you will be deceiving yourself. That's right. The devil won't deceive you. Someone else won't deceive you, but you're deceiving yourself if you're not a doer of the word. And a doer of the word encompasses walking in the love of God. Number two, having a prayer life. And number three, manifesting the character of Christ in our daily lives. So this is what I'm going to be teaching about in our brand new teaching, being a doer of the word. So I encourage you, call your friend or neighbor and remind them that the good news program is coming on so they can receive a blessing as well. I'm going to be sharing some songs with you off of our CD project entitled The Master of the Wind. And this first song is entitled God's Love. We're going to be singing about His amazing love. So you sing along with me, enjoy this song, and then this teaching segment, and then I'll be back in a few moments to pray with you. So stay tuned. <laughs>
James 1 and verse 22 says, Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. The Lord put it upon my heart in the last few days about being a doer. You know, it's being a Christian is far more than just going to church and agreeing that the Bible is so. But we must do what it says. The Bible teaches us to be doers of the Word, not just to hear the Word, not just to agree with the Word. You know, I, I, I love it when somebody shouts, Amen, brother, go ahead. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's, that, that's a lovely sound to a preacher. But I would a whole lot rather that you know what I say and then do what I say. Amen? I appreciate all the amens. I appreciate the agreement of God's Word, but are we doing what it says? See, that is so important. Jesus said to love your neighbor as yourself. Are we doing that? Amen? Are we doing that? Jesus told his disciples one time, he said, if you truly love me, you will do what I say. Didn't he say that? If you truly say that you love Jesus, are you doing what he said? Are you carrying out what he has said? James said that faith without works is dead. In James 2 and 4, we read, What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister, and then he goes on to explain it in the next verse, if a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you just says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and feel, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Now that wouldn't make any sense. If somebody happened to, to come around you and you knew they were hungry and you, you, you just said, oh, well, that's, that's terrible, but uh, it'll be all right, and you had the opportunity to give them some food and you didn't do it. You just say, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to work out. See you later. Now, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? That wouldn't be right. And that's what James is saying here. If you knew somebody needed some clothes, their clothes was all torn and ragged and everything, and you had some clothes that you could give away, and instead of giving them, you said, well, you're going to make it. You'll be all right. See you later. Now, that's not, that's not, uh, James said, faith without what? Faith without works is dead because it's, be, it's, it's alone. Now, I want you to understand that we are saved by faith alone, but works shows the fruit of our faith. If you are really saved, you should have the desire to do something. Amen? How do you know that apple tree is an apple tree? Because you're going to see the fruit on it. Amen? How do you know that orange tree is an orange tree? Well, you could believe the tag that's on it, I reckon, to begin with. But you really know it when it starts producing them oranges. Yep, that's an orange tree. But what if it produced lemons? What are you going to say then? Well, I thought it was an orange tree. And you know, I've planted stuff before. I have. I've bought plants, and I've planted them before. I thought it was one thing. It turned out to be something else. I said, well, look at there. You know, I thought that was a bell pepper. Turned out to be a squash. How many ever done that? <laughs> but it produced fruit. See, salvation comes by faith and grace alone. But then if you truly are saved, your people are going to know it. 
because you're going to have that desire to do what Jesus says. You're going to have a desire to not just be a, a hearer, but to be a doer of the word. Then he goes on to explain it further in verse 21. He says, was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? So you see, Abraham believed God. One scripture says, and it was counted to him uh, for righteousness. But he also heard God telling him to do something. And he obeyed what God said. Now, if Abraham really didn't believe, he wouldn't have went ahead and did that. But he believed in his God, and he believed that even if he did go through with it and take his son's life, that God would raise him up from the dead. That's how much he believed in his God. But of course, we know that God stopped him before he did it. And he saw, God saw, sure enough, that man believes me. Amen. That man believes in me. Do you see, verse 22, that faith was working together with his works and by works? Faith was made perfect, or a better word is complete. Faith was made complete. Because why? Because of his obedience. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now, can others see your faith at work? Can they see the works, because when they see the works, then they're going to see your faith. Amen? On a humorous note, there was a pastor who was talking with a member of his church. You know, the pastor said, I wish I had 10 members just like you. Really? The member said, I'm a little surprised to hear you say that. I realize that I often complain about your preaching. I hardly give anything in the offering, and I haven't volunteered my time for any of our ministries. Why would you want 10 people just like me? Well, like I said, the pastor replied, I wish I had 10 members just like you. The problem is I have 50. Are you making yourself available? For those around you that may need your help? Are you sensitive to the needs of others? Or do you just think about yourself and your own needs all of the time? To be a doer of the word means to help and to serve others. We were not put on this planet to build our own kingdom. We were put here to be a help and to serve others. Jesus taught this principle to his disciples when he washed their feet. Can you imagine Jesus? I mean, the, the prince of peace, the king of kings, bends down to wash their old dirty feet. He taught them a lesson there. And he said, just like I'm doing, you supposed to do the same thing. Now, he wasn't talking about physically, saying you ought to go around washing people's feet, but you need to be a servant to others. Amen? Servanthood. A great example or another example of this is found in Luke chapter 10 where is the story we're familiar with, the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan did seven acts of kindness to this individual that was left for dead. He was wounded, he was robbed, and he was left on the side of the road. He did seven acts of kindness. First of all, the scripture says, I'm not going to take time to read it because it's pretty lengthy, but first of all, he took the time to stop. I want you to know it takes time to stop, especially if you're in the rat race. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that song and that teaching segment talking about being a doer of the Word of God. As always, if you want to get this teaching in its entirety, I make it available for your gift of any amount to the ministry. That just helps us uh, pay for the postage to get it to you. And uh, it's entitled, Be a Doer of the Word. 
and uh, we'll either send a CD or a DVD, or whatever you want, just call us and let us know. Now our special uh, CD, music CD offer for January 2021, I started to say 2020, but it's 2021. Can you say it with me? <laughs> 2021 is Master of the Wind. And uh, right off the top of the program, I shared a song about God's love, and it's from here. And also on this CD is Master of the Wind, of course, Jesus is Alive and Well. And I do some harmonica playing on here as well, Swing Low, Sweet Cherry. So for your gift of any amount to the ministry, I want to send this music CD to you, 10 songs that will be sure to lift you up and encourage you as we go into this new year. So call us with your credit card right now at 888-429-2280. That's a toll-free call. 888-429-2280. Once again, it's available for your gift of any amount to the ministry. Some can give a little bit, some can give more. And whatever we receive, we simply use that for our airtime and our production costs to stay on TV, to keep telling people the good news about Jesus. So call us right now at 888-429-2280. If you get that busy signal, please call back because that means we're on the line helping someone else. 888-429-2280. I want to share with you about our next concert coming up. As most of you know by now, we host a special concert right here at Good News Fellowship Church in Tickfall, Louisiana, where I pastor the first Friday of every month. And I'm always singing, and I have a special guest that's always here as well, either a group or a single individual. And our next guest will be a trio called Trinitas. And that's simply Greek for the word Trinity. They will be here with us February the 5th. So be sure and put that on your calendar because we have good gospel music all evening long and bring your appetite as well because we always have some kind of good country cooking like jambalaya, fried chicken, pulled pork sandwiches, and good stuff like that. So for more information, go on our website at mvmgoodnews.com or simply give us a call. You know, I never like to close the program without giving an invitation to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because friend, it is so true. There is a hell to shun and there is a heaven to gain. But if you want to go to heaven when you die, you have to accept what Jesus has done for you. What has He done for you? Well, He went to the old rugged cross and He shed His precious blood to pay your sin debt. That's right. You had a debt against you. It's a sin debt and Jesus paid it. And if you simply accept what He's done for you, then you can have complete pardon of all your sin. You can also have eternal life and the joy and the peace that He offers you right now. And it all starts with a simple prayer. So I want you to pray with me right now. Say, Heavenly Father, I'm sorry for my sin and the life that I have lived without you. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died on the cross for the sins of the world and for my sins. And I trust you now as my Lord and my Savior Come into my heart and make me a child of yours. I confess with my mouth, Jesus is Lord. I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead and you are alive now and forevermore. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me now. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. And amen. Friend, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it in your heart, I want to encourage you and I want you to be confident that you are now a born again child of God. The Bible says that something supernatural happens on the inside. I'm not talking about joining a church, not talking about joining a religion, but I'm talking about having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And friend, 
I, I know that many of you prayed that prayer and to rejoice with you, I want to send you a free little book entitled, Now What? I've sent thousands of these out to folks that have called. And so if you want to know more about what it means to be born again, what it means to be saved, this here little book will help you. It tells you how to study your Bible, how to pray, and it's, it's full of scriptures that you can look up in your Bible. So for your free copy, you can call me right now, 888-429-2280. That's a toll free call, 888-429-2280. Won't you call me right now and say, I prayed with Brother Mike to receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord. And I want to let y'all know about it. And I'd like to receive that free book. All you got to do is call me, 888-429-2280. And I never like to close the program without saying a special thanks to all my partners. Partners, thank you so much for being such a blessing to this program. Because you pray for us and because you give financially, we can keep doing what God has called us to do. And those of you that have been blessed by the program, you haven't become a partner yet, please consider becoming a good news partner. And a partner simply uh, commits to pray for us and send in a donation of uh, $20 or more to the ministry. And that helps us take care of our obligations such as the airtime and the production costs. All I ask you to do is pray about it because I know that God will speak to you and I know you'll do what He tells you to do. So let me say a prayer for all of you, my partners and my friends, Heavenly Father, right now, I pray for all of our listeners and viewers today. I ask you to heal the sick, strengthen the weak, and set the captives free by your power and your anointing. Lord, may your grace, your peace, and your mercy be multiplied to all of our partners and our friends watching and listening today. I believe that miracles are happening even now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm going to leave you with a special song now entitled, That Night Jack Daniels Met John 316, a wonderful testimony song written by James Payne. I know you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. God bless you. Searching for hope In my hand was a Bible I read as a child On the table a bottle It was driving me wild I poured the whiskey Into the glass and I prayed it would help me forget my past. Then I read how Jesus died on a tree. I poured out the whiskey, fell down on my knees. That night, old Jack Daniels met John. God's word broke the hold that it had over me. I traded Tennessee whiskey for Calvary's tree. That night, old Jack Daniels made John 3:16. Go. 
They tell me I'm different than I used to be. Then I love to tell them what happened to me. That night, old Jack Daniels met John 316. God's word broke the hole that it had over me. I traded Tennessee whiskey for Calvary's tree. That night, old Jack Daniels made John 3.16. That night, old Jack Daniels I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. Singing the new, I'm singing the good news everywhere I go.